friends, the video is finally here. The video that you guys have been waiting forever for is finally here. How to save a ton of money on your car insurance. A while back I was doing a video and I mentioned in that video that my husband and I spent $300 for six months of car insurance for two cars for both of us. And when I mentioned that, y'all freaked out, <laughs> like majorly, blew up the comment section. Oh my gosh, this isn't fair. Why is your car insurance so cheap? I pay like $100 a month or $200 a month or some people, yeah, y'all pay way too much for car insurance. <laughs> so I put together a huge list of stuff that you can do to save bajillions of dollars on your car insurance, right? Bajillions. That's how much you're going to save with this video. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, so before I even get too far into this, I do want to say there's the obvious way that everyone probably who clicked on this video is thinking I'm going to say that you're going to save money on your car insurance, and that is to lower your coverage or raise your deductible, and that's going to save you money. And while both of these things are true, neither of these are things that I recommend doing in order to save money on your car insurance. If you lower your deductible, or high, raise your deductible, excuse me, you're gonna end up with a much higher bill if you get into a car accident. And if you lower your coverage, I mean, here in Colorado where we live, the lowest that you have to you know, insure your car for is $25,000, I think, for liability. And there are a lot of cars. In fact, probably most of the new cars coming out are more than that. So you could end up with a really high amount of money that you would owe and could possibly get sued. And I just don't think it's worth saving the $10 a month doing either of these things. So let's just get that out of the way. Yes, those are things that you can do to you know, lower your car insurance, but neither of them are things that I would personally do, and they're not things that I have done. First, I wanna go through a quick list of factors that can alter your car insurance or make it to where it's higher or lower. Some of these things <laughs> aren't things you can either control or they're things that I wouldn't personally, you know, recommend that you change in order to get lower car insurance. You'll see what I'm saying in a second. Okay, so the first thing is the thing that you really can't control, and that's gender and age. You can't really control either of these things. Younger men pay more than younger women, but as you get older, younger or older men actually pay less than older women, and these are just generalized things that the insurance company has come up with that these age groups tend to be, you know, in more car accidents. Another thing that affects your car insurance was whether or not you're legally married. And yes, it does have to be legal. For some reason, and again, before you thumbs down my video, <laughs> Uh, it's not my choice, I don't agree with this, but the car insurance companies feel that people who are legally married are more responsible, and so therefore they get lower car insurance rates. What kind of a job you have, again, they think that people who choose certain jobs are more responsible than people who choose other jobs, and so that affects your car insurance rate. Uh, your education level. So again, <laughs> don't go get a bachelor's degree if all you have is an associate's degree just for the cheaper car insurance. But the higher the education level, the lower the car insurance generally. Where you live, if you live in an area where there's high theft or if there's just high population density and therefore are more likely to get into a car accident, you're going to pay more car insurance for that. This is something that you may potentially be able to control if you're considering a couple of different places to live. Maybe don't live in the city center, live in a suburb or something like that because it's going to be cheaper on your car insurance that way. Okay, where you live also affects um, your car insurance rate based on like weather factors and other things like that. And so I went on carinsurance.com. People in Florida pay twice as much as people in Alaska. I don't know why, but they do. And people in Michigan pay six times as much as people in Iowa. They had this list of like the average car insurance rates and the car insurance rates in Michigan were out, I mean, really like through the roof. They were ridiculous. So the state that you live in, again, don't move out of state just because of, you know, trying to get cheaper car insurance, but the, the state that you live in does highly affect your car insurance rate. So what the car is used for affects your car insurance rate. So if you do like pizza delivery or if you're an Uber driver, something like that, um, distance driven, uh, 
makes a big difference because the more you're on the road, the more likely you are to get into a car accident. And so these sorts of things definitely affect your car insurance. The car itself makes a big difference on how much you pay for your car insurance. So the safety rating, cars that are rated more safe than others, definitely get lower rates there. Uh, the type of car, sports cars or two-door cars, things like that, you'll pay more to insure a sports car than you would, say, a minivan or some other kind of family vehicle. Uh, cars that are a target for theft, so this isn't like I mentioned the area, but the car itself could be more likely to be stolen. Again, a sports car or something like that is more likely to get stolen than a minivan. People don't tend to go out and, you know, joyriding in minivans, and so yeah, the car itself makes a big difference on how much, you know, it's going to be. And if you do choose a car that um, you want to have, but it's going to be a higher insurance rate and it's more likely to get stolen, you could always install an alarm. And if your car does have an alarm, be sure to tell your insurance company about it because they frequently offer lower rates for people with car alarms. The age of the vehicle, and this is probably one of the biggest things that we have chosen to do on purpose to get cheaper car insurance. Older cars get charged less on car insurance. Newer cars get charged higher. And that's not just because we don't have a payment. If we would have chosen and paid cash for a 2015 instead of an 05, the 05 would still have been cheaper to insure than the 2015. So older cars are not only cheaper to buy, but they're also cheaper to insure. And so I see this as a win-win for sure. You make a big difference when it comes to the car insurance. So I was sitting here I was sitting talking to my insurance agent and I was trying to pick his brain so I could do some research for this very video. And I asked him what makes a big deal or what makes the biggest differences on your car insurance. And he said that the number one factor that influences your car insurance rate is your consumer score. The number one thing that influences your consumer score is your credit score. And when he said this, my jaw about hit the floor because I would have thought it was your driving record. And he said, no, that's not the case. Driving record does play a factor, which I'm going to talk about in a second. But the number one thing that influences your car insurance is your consumer score. And that is largely influenced by your credit score. So your credit score is probably the biggest reason why if you pay a lot of money for your car insurance and all of these other factors that I've talked about, you know, you don't live in Michigan, you don't drive a sports car, etc. It could be your credit score that's causing your insurance rate to go so high. So I did some research on this and a lot of the insurance companies use a company called LexisNexis. They're the ones who uh, keep your consumer score. And so I figured out how much of a difference it makes to have a, a different type of credit score. So when your credit score moves from good to fair, you're going to pay 17% more for your car insurance. For, and then when your credit, you know, goes from good to poor, not from good to fair, but from good to poor, people who have poor credit scores actually pay 67% more for their car insurance than people with good credit scores. Here's what that looks like in some real life numbers. So carinsurance.com said the average six month rate for someone with good um, credit score having full coverage would pay about $563 for a six month block. For a fair credit score, that same person is going to pay $755 and someone with a poor credit score is going to pay $1,277. So someone with a good credit score, 563. Someone with a poor credit score, 1277. Again, my, draw, my jaw hit the floor. <laughs> I did not believe this, but yes, it's scored on a, a six tier system, the best and all the way to the poor. And so, yeah, if you can keep your consumer score up, that is definitely good. So for those of you who are thinking about, you know, sinking your credit score on purpose, Dave Ramsey followers, <laughs> Please, please consider this as being one of the things that you may want to reconsider for. Please don't shoot yourself in the foot. That's usually not a good idea. But I've talked about credit scores on this channel way too many times and people are kind of getting sick of it, I'm sure. Okay, moving on. So driving record obviously makes a big difference on your car insurance as well. So if you have tickets, accidents, and other claims, those are going to make a difference. Non-injury issues fall off of your report uh, after three years. Injury accidents take about five years before they will fall off, and then DUIs take 10 years. Okay, so here are some quick discounts that you can take advantage of, and these are the things that I highly recommend doing. Okay, so if you have three years of safe driving, 
um, a safe driving record for three years. That'll save a big difference with your car insurance. If you're a homeowner, definitely tell your insurance company that because again, before you thumbs down my video, the car insurance company feels that people who are homeowners are more responsible and therefore get a lower rate. Uh, a multi-vehicle discount. This is one of the big ways that we save money on our car insurance is that we insure both of our cars, my husband's car and my car, both on the same policy. In addition to the multi-car discount, you can also get a multi-policy discount. So if you have other types of insurance that you're buying, if you have homeowner's insurance or renter's insurance or any other kind of insurance, you know, you were insuring a motorcycle or an RV, whatever, any other kind of you know, insurance that you're buying, if you buy that through the same company as your car insurance or your car insurance through the other company, you can save some money. So continuous three-year coverage. This is a big one too. So if you always pay your bills on time and you never let your car insurance lapse, this is going to save a lot of money on your car insurance as well. So always make sure to pay it before the due date. If you send your checks out in the mail, make sure you have lots of time ahead of time or pay it online, set an alert on your phone, whatever it is you got to do, make sure you do it to where you don't let your car insurance lapse because that three years of continuous coverage can save a bundle. Loyal customer discount. They said that I was getting this one as well and I don't really understand what this means. So I don't know what to recommend as far as that. Maybe it has something to do with the next one and that's long-term customer. I have been going through the same um, car insurance company for many years now and when I was talking to another insurance agent, he said that that probably had a big deal, a big difference on why my car insurance was so cheap. Five years of accident free and no claims, having no claims on your policy can save a lot of money. So if you get into a small fender bender or whatever, if you don't file a claim for that, even if it's a small accident, it may be cheaper to just fix those sorts of small issues on your own. Because even though it may seem cheaper in the, in the beginning, you know, oh, well, I'll get the car insurance company to pay the $500 that it costs to cover this, but your car insurance jumps by $50, $75, then over time that's gonna you know majorly affect your car insurance bill and will probably cost you more in the long run than it would have been if you just took care of the issue on your own. So yeah, no claims can definitely make a big difference. Uh, paperless discount, if you can sign up for a paperless discount, this makes it to where they send you your documents uh, electronically. And so this is better for the environment, less clutter to have to have around, and it can save you some money because now they don't have to have stuff that they're printing and sending you out in the mail. They don't have to pay the postage. And so you save a ton of money on that too. If you pay in full, so if you have a larger amount of you know car insurance that you're paying but instead of paying that in installments you pay the full thing all at once you get a discount for that that's another one of the major reasons we get our car insurance for cheaper and then i've saved the biggest one for last and that's buying it in larger chunks so instead of buying our car insurance monthly or even in three month blocks, we buy it in six month blocks. There really wasn't a big difference for six months and a year. And so we figured we would just go with the six month. But by buying it in six month blocks and paying in full, we get a huge discount versus having to do it, you know, if we were paying monthly. So this one is probably one of the, another one of the biggest ones that saves us the most money on car insurance. Our car insurance did just uh, increase. And we went from 300, like I mentioned in that last video, to 337. Uh, but that's because we got a new car, which I'm going to talk about here soon. Uh, but still, even then, $337 for a six-month block for two cars equals $28 per car per month. And so these are the tips and tricks that we have done to get our car insurance as cheap as possible. Um, so hopefully this video is helpful to you. Some of these things, again, I recommend doing so you can get your car insurance cheaper. And some of these things I definitely don't recommend changing. <laughs> don't go get married <laughs> just to get cheaper car insurance. And maybe don't move out of state just for the cheaper car insurance either. But you know what I'm saying. So again, hopefully this video was helpful to you. I'm Frugal Green Girl. Save bajillions of dollars on your car insurance today. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.